Pfizer announced today its COVID vaccine is 95% effective. It will soon seek FDA approval. And with a vaccine closer in reach, South Carolina DHEC prepares the state for distribution. We have News 13's Alicia Alonzo live right now in the studio. And Alicia, you spoke with DHEC officials who say it will still take some time before South Carolina sees its first vaccination. Well, hey there, Bob DHEG says it will take at least two weeks for the FDA to review the vaccine and longer for it to make its way to South Carolina. Now, in the meantime, DHEG says it's working to figure out how it will be stored. The vaccine manufactured by Pfizer needs to be kept in ultra cold freezers with temperatures below 80 degrees Celsius. DHEG says many vaccine providers in the state do not currently have these special freezers. With this in mind, Dr. Dr. Linda Bell says the first round of vaccines will be given to healthcare workers. When the vaccine is eventually released to the public, Bell says cost will not be a barrier. The federal government has committed to uh, making the vaccine available at no charge, as well as uh, we have our um, insurance providers who will uh, cover an administration fee so that doctor's office visits when it becomes available for the uh, population um, at large, individuals will not incur a cost for, um, for the vaccine or for receiving the vaccine. Now, many wonder if a COVID vaccine will be required for public school students as a school re-entry requirement. I'll have DHEC's answer coming up at 6. Reporting for News 13, I'm Alicia Alonso.